This video is intended to provide you helpful tips to complete the application for City Council Place on the May 6, 2023 ballot. Some fields are required, others are optional. You will see this indicated by a red required or a green optional on screen. Now, let's look at this application. The first field is requesting the name of the election. Our preferred answer here would be to write down May 6, 2023, Burleson. The next field indicates the office sought. This is the place where you are clearly communicating what position you are running for. The best ideal statement here is either City Council Place 2, Place 4, Place 6, or the City Council Mayor. The next field asks you to indicate the term. For the May 6, 2023 general election, all terms are full. The next field requires you to fill in your full name. Fill in your name as it would be found on the voter registration list or on your voter registration card. This name will be used to determine your voter eligibility and age. The next section is the print name as you would want it to appear on a ballot. It's how people know you. An example would be if your name was Jackson Smith, but most people know you by Jack. So you would want Jack Smith indicated on the ballot. This name must not constitute a slogan or contain a title, nor does it indicate a political, economic, social, or religious view or affiliation. You must commonly be known by this nickname for at least three years prior to this election. The next field indicates the permanent residence address. This is the address that you are registered to vote from. This must be an address within the City of Burleson city limits to be eligible to run for City Council. This address cannot be a P.O. box or a rural route. The public mailing address section is completely optional. At times, candidates set up a dedicated P.O. box or campaign headquarters address for all correspondence. You may indicate that address here. Just like the public mailing address, a public email address is completely optional. Some candidates set up a dedicated email address for communications directly related to their campaign. The next field is occupation. This field must be filled out for the application to be valid. The next field is date of birth, indicated by month, day, and four digit year. This must be filled out for the application to be valid. The voter registration number is optional. However, it is helpful to have the number to verify voter registration status. Being a registered voter of the City of Burleson is required. Check the website for election information listing all requirements. Telephone contact information is completely optional. However, we do suggest you leave a contact number so that information can be sent to you as quickly as possible. The next field is felony conviction status. This must be filled out for the application to be valid. The section entitled Length of Continuous Residence, as of the date this application was sworn, has two parts. In the section titled In the State of Texas, this is the total time you have been a resident of the state of Texas at one time. An example of this is if you were born and raised in Burleson for 18 years, moved to college outside of the city but still in Texas for four years, moved back to Burleson for two years, then the total residence for this application purpose is 24 years. In the section marked in the territory district precinct from which this office is sought to be elected, this is the time that you have been a resident of the city of Burleson at one time. You cannot use collected time in the city if you have moved outside of the city limits. An example for this would be if you were born and raised in the city of Burleson for 18 years, moved to college outside of the city for four years, and then moved back to Burleson for two years. The total residence for this application's purpose is two years. The final section is the sworn statement portion of the application. Anywhere that is noted as name of candidate, this is where you will put the full name you wrote previously on this application. The county is a county you reside in, and candidate for the office of is the office sought as you wrote previous on this application. The notary will fill out their portion. Please do not fill that out for them. We have notaries here at City Hall if you need at no charge. Applications for the May 6, 
2023 election are now available. You can pick up an application online at www.burlesontx.com or at City Hall at 141 West Renfro Street in Burleson, Texas.